welcome back to the fields of Perthshire in a very nice sunny and warm Scotland. Here I am with the XP Deus 2. You just caught a glimpse there of, there he is, the legs of Mr Albert. He's on his AT Pro International from Garrett and uh, he has taken heed of all of the uh, the comments about him running on standard settings versus pro mode. So don't worry, he has been running in pro mode for the last three or four outings and is getting to grips with it. Now we're back on the, I'm going to call it the church field, which we were out on the other day and had a bonanza. 17 coins, I think it was, I got in about four hours including a hammered of Edward the First and a milled silver. Albert did pretty well too. I think he was late to the late to the party, but still got five coins and I think certainly one of them was milled. So we've got high hopes. As you'll see, I'm going with program three, sensitive full tones, because there's a big power line running across this field. So I maybe switch over to my uh, deep JMAC program later. But let's see how we get on. I've barely got going and Albert is in with a coin. Here it is. It is pretty smooth. Now that side is Britannia. The date would have been at the bottom. However, this side you can just make out the figure of Queen Victoria looking to the left hand side. So it's Victoria, it's a young head, what we call a bun head. And uh, date-wise, probably going to predate 1870, so eight, late 1830s to 1870. But it is a coin, it's a half penny, and it's a good start. As you can see, Albert's on his second hole. Doesn't sound like the best signal though. First diggable signal from me. Spotted this little piece of blue and white pottery on the surface, probably Victorian in the era. But just here, I've got, it's not the best of signals, to be honest. It's a little bit, a little bit faint, but it's a solid 69.70. Seems to be a pretty small target. Not a coin, maybe a bit of lead or a bit of copper or something. Quite a deep signal, about eight inches down, so. We've got it. Oh, a bit of stainless steel maybe. Oh, it's not a bit of stainless steel. We've got a cross, a bent cross, which surely has got to be silver. I did say it was the church field. Didn't quite expect a a sign of uh, of Christ, but hey, they all count. That's surely got to be silver. It's not particularly tainted. There's some writing there. Sterling, sterling silver. So that is definitely a silver cross. Date-wise, I don't think it's massively old. It's had a wee loop at the top, so it's obviously been worn on a chain. I don't know, date-wise, it's probably going to be less than 150 years old, I would think. But that is a great start, a nice bit of silver. And a cross as well, you can see it's a bit bent, but that's what happens when you roll around in a ploughed field for a while. Excellent coin for Albert, silver cross for me. Five minutes in, I came to show Albert my silver cross, and he's just got himself coin number two in five minutes. What a start. And it's an old one. This is another Turner, a Scottish copper two pence piece. Unfortunately, it's a bit bent, and worse still, it's pretty corroded. But on there, as you've seen before, would be a thistle, and the words Nemo me impunial assessit, which is the the motto of the Stuarts of the, the Royal Family of Scotland, still used today by the, well, it'll now be King Charles III. And that's going to date to another Charles, 
either Charles I or Charles II, so 1625 to 49, or Charles II, 1660 to 1685. But it's a really good sign of hopefully more to come. This one came through at a 60 61. I'm not expecting big things, but a turner's not out of the question. Um, and it's a clod shot, and everyone likes a clod shot, so it's always a good way of seeing what we might have. Okay, it's getting smaller. Oh, there it is, and that is not a turner. That is a little sheet of metal. Oh well, you can't win them all. I just got a little bit of aluminium right uh, there, and got a much better signal here though. Solid 87, maybe just a little bit high for a coin, but in fact there might actually be a second signal, 85, right, We've got two for one, this one a little bit higher but it could be a penny, it certainly sounds like a coin, let's see what we get, no pinpointer required, saw it straight away and it looks like we have got, you know who, gorgeous George. On the back, do we have a date? 1917. Bit worn on the back. This side's better though. We'll just give it a wee rub on the old jumper. Oh, it's beautiful. A lovely toned coin, perfect condition. George V. And uh, the date of 1917. So you've all heard a lot about George V, so I'm not going to go into any more detail about him. But let's have a try and see what this signal is. Could well be another coin. Only one way to find out. Pretty shallow, that one. It's either a coin or a button. Do you see it right uh, there? You see that green circular shape? And that is a halfpenny. 100%. Uh, that is a half penny. Now, is it going to be you know who? And it is. It's a little bit, it's a different colour. It's brown rather than green. It's a bit worn. But it is again gorgeous George, George V. Date wise, I think it's going to be a struggle. It's looking pretty poor on this side. Nope. Unfortunately, it's completely gone. No, can't see a date, but it's going to be between 1910 and 1936, give or take. Brilliant. Two coins, and Albert's had two coins, and also a silver cross. I've just been over to show uh, Albert my, uh, my find, my coin and a half, and he's just went and got, looks like a half penny. Pretty toasty though, nice imprint. Let's get the bendy thumb on it. 95 at the bottom. So it's going to be 1895, because it certainly isn't 1995. So it's going to be uh, Elizabeth again. So you can see the letters end imp, Empress of India. And I can just make out V-I-C, Victoria. So Queen Victoria. So she ruled 1837 to 1901. The biggest drug dealer in the history of the world. The Opium Wars with China and supply in from India. Still, it's a coin, pretty toasty, but hey, they all count. That's what, 3-2 to Albert now, he's taking the lead again. 10 minutes in, we've got another digger. Bit jumpy though, 79 through to 83, 82, 74. Ah, it's not going to be a coin though, is it? So let's see what we get. We've got another clod shot. It's uh, going anywhere near as high as uh, 91 at the moment now. I think it's going to be 
junk. A bit of green there. Could be, you know. Yep, that is green. Right there. What is it? It's a piece of copper pipe. My best friend. I love a bit of copper pipe. Yep, I'm afraid. Junk. Albert is steamrolling ahead of me. That's him got coin number four. I've got a bone to pick with these people who told him to flip on to pro on his metal detector. What did you say that for? It's, uh, it's pretty smooth again. I wouldn't be surprised if it's another uh, Victoria. I can just make out Britannia seated on the reverse. Um, Britannia, yep, there. The date at the bottom, it could be an, a 68. I think it is. I think it's 1868. It's another half penny, and there she is. Just make it out looking to the left. Pretty smooth, but definitely Queen Victoria, 1837 to 1901. 73 years, no, 63 years and 7 months, I think it was, she was on the throne. And uh, yeah, brilliant. Well done, Albert. Four coins to two. We've got a lovely sweet tone here. Coming through a, a very solid 91.92. Right there. I tell you what. That could be silver. I think the XP Deus 2 has done it again. I think we've got another bit of silver. And it's not a coin. About six inches down. And right there. I think we've got a silver thimble. Ooh. Well, I was hoping for an imprint, but there is a bit of an imprint. We have, we have got a silver thimble. Has it got a hallmark? It does have a hallmark. It is solid silver. Right. Let's get the old bottle out on it. I got a silver thimble last year. Very bright. Thought it would be a lot more dull than that. But as I say, the soil here is very, very sandy. It's a little bit flattened. But look at that beauty. See, it's a little bit oddly shaped, but it doesn't look like it's cracked. So that can be straightened. Now, the million dollar question is, how old is it? Well, I can't read them. My eyesight isn't that good. Maybe someone else can tell me what that may or may not say. That's, you'd need a jeweler's loop to read that, I think. But that is a silver thimble. Now, why is a silver thimble in a field? Well, I've heard different reasons. Some people say that women wore them on their fingers when they were sewing up the harvest bags. I've heard other people say that they wore thimbles when they were stacking the hay. Now, really, I'm not 100% certain, but what I know is that that is a silver thimble, and uh, it's a beauty. Really good. I got one last year uh, in the winter time, off a field not that far away from here, half a mile or so. Um, you don't get that many silvers, though, but you do get a lot of copper ones. Copper ones are pretty common, so I'm going to guess it's probably going to be Victorian, I think. So that's going to mean it's something like 1830 to 1900, but it could be Edwardian. could be into the start of the 1900s as well. But if you're able to read those, um, those assay marks, those silver marks, then do let me know. Because that will tell you exactly what year it was made and how old it is. And also where it was assayed, maybe Birmingham or somewhere like that.
But if it was a Scottish site like Edinburgh or Glasgow, that would be even better. Tremendous. Just came to show Albert my uh, my silver thimble and he's got himself another coin. This one is probably unreadable on this side. Even the bendy thumb isn't going to bring that to life. But on the reverse, you can just make out the ship's halfpenny and the date 1945. So this would be George the Sixth, the uh, the late Queen's father. And he ruled until his death in 1952. He took over from his brother, Edward VIII, who abdicated after, what, seven or nine months on the throne? In 1937, I think it was, to marry Wallace Simpson, the American divorcee. But five coins for Albert. He's skinning me. OK, we got a 77. Really, really faint. Came from about... Eight inches down, but there's also an iron signal in the hole. Sounds a lot better now it's out the hole. Maybe a bit of lead. Oh no, it's not. It's a coin. Well, I didn't expect a coin. Not in a million years did I think that would be a coin. Otherwise, I would have filmed the signal. But it is a half penny. And you beauty, it is not George V. It's Edward. Dirty Bertie. Edward the Seventh. Oh, that's tremendous. Very happy with that. It looks in pretty good condition. 1906 or 08. Let's get the water bottle on that. See if we can get this dirt off. Brilliant. I'm catching up with him. If I can stop Albert from finding any more. And I'll be able to catch him. Right, there it is with a wee rub. And it is... Oh, 1906. 1906, and it's a half penny. And there he is. Looking to the right-hand side. Dirty Bertie, the Playboy Prince. Also known as Edward VII. So he was the son of Queen Victoria. He only ruled for eight or nine years. Smoked like a chimney. 84,000 cigarettes and 100,000 cigars a day, and uh, he was dead in no time, but there we go, I'm really happy, he's not the most common of coins, but that's quite a number we've had out this field, in the one next door, excellent, and a 68 produces just a piece of copper alloy, just under the surface, I knew it wasn't a coin, but I uh, thought maybe it would have been a buckle or something, but not to be. A bit of a chittery 63 this time. 63, 64. Is it shallow or is it deeper? Oh. I think I've maybe moved it. Either that or I was rubbing in the wrong place. Right there. It is. It is a bit of the dreaded foil. Damn, Mr. Kipling. Could be another coin. 82, 83, 81. But it's a bit erratic. So let's see what we get. Damn, more of the dreaded foil. This one has got to be a coin. Solid. 87, singing like a canary. And I think it's got to be a coin. Do you see what I see? Uh, right there. Do you see that little half moon shape of greenery? It's either a coin or it's a button, I think. That is a coin. Has to be it is a coin. That is a coin. Right. Who do we have? 18, no, 19. 19, 15. It's bloody gorgeous George again. It is. My God, you must all be getting sick of seeing this guy. It is George V, by the grace of God, King of the Britons, Defender of the Faith and Emperor of India. Beautiful coin, look at the tone on that. It's in mint condition. And the back, it's a little bit worn, 
but you can clearly see Britannia and the words one penny 1915 so towards the beginning of the first world war excellent clearly there was a lot going on on these fields during the reign of George V a 72 this time produces this perfect rectangle of something copper alloy or such like similar to the piece that I got before but a bit bigger it's got these little lines on it little marks but what we call in the business tractor junk I think 68 sounded like a hammered and it's the dreaded ring pull a 71 this time produces a very deep bit of lead about nine inches down but nothing obvious just a bit of junk more lead this time a lead pipe or what's left of it 65 and another piece of this sort of copper alloy stuff again with the lines on it flat rectangular shape at one point but clearly something broke in this field we have a 60 61 this time and we have got a little clod now i would say that is perfect button territory but it could be a turner nope we have a button we've got a tomback tomback button nice well i'm only saying that now because i've had some good stuff if i hadn't had anything good i would be currently cursing <laughs> this little button can't get that bit of mud out of the loop but you can see oh dropped it you can see it is a one piece tomback button and completely intact which isn't always the case normally the loop is broken off and uh, i've told you before tomback it was a, a copper and zinc alloy i think it was and uh, they were very popular during the reign of george the third 1760 to 1820 with a wee dash of arsenic in there as well for good measure but nice coin nice coin nice button another hammered coin which doubles as a ring pool well it certainly sounds like a hammered coin but damn it signals are coming thick and fast honestly i can't keep up i think we've got another coin listen to this Solid 87 has to be a coin, surely, a big penny. Ideally not George V, not that I've got anything against you, George. Okay, we're out, uh, about six, seven inches deep. I haven't seen any ob anything obvious yet. Yeah, I might be wrong. Just my uh, probe in my phone. Nope, that is not a coin. Damn, 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 damn. That's not it, is it? Nope, still in there. Nope, that is it. That is it. Oh, well, that's a pain. What is that that sounds just like a coin? It doesn't even feel, it doesn't even feel like anything. Is it definitely that? It is. It's definitely that. Nothing else. Well, there might be another signal. Might be another signal in the hole. I hope there is, because that's that's junk. Don't know what that is. It's like melted, melted aluminium. Let's see what signal that comes up as. Damn. There's iron in the hole, and that comes up is an 86 87 which is a coin damn 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 well that's annoying thankfully there's not too many of these on the field otherwise it'd be a nightmare oh well <laughs>